Hi everyone, my name is Matt. I'm taking over the ITA Costa Rica Instagram. Let me know if you have any questions or want to see anything specific today. Let's hit it. Good morning. Welcome for a day in my life in Costa Rica. Every morning I like to journal a little bit while my homestay mom is cooking breakfast. Here is a tour of my homestay. Then I sit down for breakfast. Always gotta have my coffee. Cheers. Having breakfast every morning has been so nice. Also, the food is delicious. Exhibit A, B, and C. There's also a dog at my homestay, and Totopo loves to join me for breakfast. And now, we're off to school. It takes me about 10 minutes to walk from my homestay to the school, so I thought this was the perfect time to introduce myself. I have this banana, and it only feels right to use it as a microphone, so hello, my name is Matt Duffy. I lived in New York before I moved to Costa Rica, but I've lived around the globe from Kentucky to Singapore. I'm currently a professor at the University of Florida. I teach virtually uh, from New York in the grad program at the College of Journalism and Communications. I teach a class called Social Media Community Management. I have to walk up this hill every morning. It's really not that bad, but I love being dramatic and my legs better be toned by the end of this course. It's really hot today, I'm not even gonna lie. All right, now why Costa Rica? Why ITA? Why TEFL? There's a couple reasons. First, I love to travel. I was looking to plan a trip, but I didn't wanna go and just spend money or get drunk. I wanted to get something out of the travel experience. So being able to get certified to teach English was the perfect fit for me. Also, yo quiero practicar mi español mucho. And I have a bit of teaching experience uh, with my role as a professor at the University of Florida, and I wanted to tap into that more. And even already everything we've learned through this TEFL course is gonna make me a better teacher there. And I really wanna give back to the communities and do something really meaningful by teaching English. All right, we made it to school, y'all. Walk through the front door. Get a little look at that. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Cut the kitchen. I'm gonna have some coffee. Say good morning to Daniel. Yeah, my good side, please. Absolutely. How's it going? And the classroom. All right, everyone. We had morning classes. This is Georgia. Hi, Georgia. Hey. My homestay mom cooks us lunch every day. I have a clip. Wait, roll the clip. <laughs> our lesson this morning. Our lesson this morning was about visual aids. Um, it was it was an interesting lesson. But now we all teach today, so the rest of the afternoon is planning that lesson. Sometimes it just just gets the best of you. Hello everyone. I didn't really record the last hour because I was lesson planning. Just had to print out my worksheets and now we go teach. I'm doing a listening um, class today and we're talking all about holiday traditions because Semana Santa is coming up in Costa Rica in about two weeks. All right, Georgia, okay. here's your banana microphone. Oh, thank you. What are you teaching today? Today I'm teaching British idioms to a virtual online class. Hmm, what's the best idiom you have? Um, I'm feeling pretty knackered, which means I'm just feeling tired. <laughs> Here's your uh, banana microphone. Thank what you. are you teaching today, Jackson? Today I'm teaching American idioms. For example, hold your horses, what does that mean? Mm. It actually just means be patient, please. All right, my lesson went well. Oh, and now the best part of my day, get to go home, change, and then we are playing soccer with some locals. Time for some soccer. I'm very sweaty, exhausted. Still have some homework to do, but I get to walk home with this view. And that, that makes it all worth it. My favorite food in Costa Rica has been 
all of the dinners I've had from my host mom. Roll the clip. Mira para ti. Pero que linda. All right, random change of plans. I was pretty much ready to, you know, eat dinner, go home, study, but the people are hanging out. The, my fellow classmates are hanging out, so let's go. Cheers to teaching our fourth class to the dog's bollocks. The dog's bollocks. Salute. Hey y'all, my day in the life with ITA Costa Rica is coming to a close, but I still had some questions that y'all asked that I wanna answer. One thing that surprised me when I moved to Costa Rica was they don't use addresses like 123 Madison Ave. They use landmarks like the Costa Rica Bank in Central Barva. They'll use that as a, as a landmark and then say it's 50 meters north, it's 50 meters south, it's 200 meters east. And that is so hard to find the places I'm going to. Pedestrians also do not have the right of way. You have to look left, right, left, right, left, right, or you're gonna get hit by a car or a scooter more likely. If I could have any celebrity be my student, I wanna say Shakira because I just like wanna meet Shakira, but to be my student and to learn English, bad bunny. But honestly, I'll say that any student that is passionate about learning English and interested and, and wants to learn is, is a student I want in one of my classes. This question is definitely above my pay grade. I'm still getting my TEFL certification, but from everything I've learned from the ITA staff and from recruiters that we've met, every school is different and you're gonna need to look at these schools on a case-by-case -case situation. They have different criteria and the best way to figure it out is to reach out to them, apply to them and see how it goes. And I had a lot on my packing list. ITA Costa Rica actually provides a really thorough packing list. But if I could recommend anything to put on your packing list, it is a portable fan, a little individual mini fan. It's hot, y'all. And this has saved my life. And that is a wrap on my takeover of the ITA Costa Rica Instagram. I'm actually about to grade my other students at the University of Florida, but if you like my content or you wanna learn more about me uh, as I continue hoping to teach in Costa Rica, you can follow me everywhere online at M Duffy underscore. I create content on TikTok. I tweet like nobody's business. Um, or you can find me on Facebook where I host my community called Born Zillennial. And I am looking for that job in Costa Rica to teach full time. So hit me up. Good vida.